How's it going out there everyone? Split Rock Gamer here. I have a review of some random baseball cards that I will be submitting to PSA and I kind of wanted to show you guys what I am grading and what I think there's a lot of value in. So we will start off with 2019 update. Vlad. You can get his base cards rather cheap. Bregman, who was maybe had a case for AL MVP, but Mike Trout's amazing. Even though he was injured part of the year, Bregman kind of trailed off. Had he finished a little stronger, I think he could have got him. So I have three of the Chromes, and I have three of the base. You can actually get the 2017 Series 1, which this card is in pretty cheap on blowout uh, you can do the retail hangers for like five a pop or you can get the hobby boxes for a pretty reasonable price and that also is judges rookie year so and that's where his uh, flagship rookie is this is actually a flagship insert from series one and I kinda like this insert I think it looks pretty cool so another one I'm gonna get graded here is the card I'm talking about, 287, Judge, Rookie from Series 1, Fielding, got a couple of those base. Uh, I picked this up on Blowout, uh, I think he's one of the higher prospects coming up here, Luis Robert. He was kind of the guy to get when this first came out. This is 2018 Bowman. This was the card that everybody was going for, and this is the Mega Box Refractor, which you can see is all refractory. I know I got a little bit of glare in the back, something we'll work on, but have to put up with for now. There is improvement to come. Uh, Shohei Otani, this is the Topps Chrome version, the Sepia Refractor, which again, I got all part of the Bregman and the Otani and the Roberts for quite a deal. Um, this is obviously the Acuna Update Rookie, US 250. This guy, I don't need to say much about. He's amazing. Um, I actually got the short print of this, the super short print of this, and got a BGS 10. And I probably sold it too early. Uh, I sent it in to one of the auction sites and it was in April kind of before he went off I wish I'd have held it till he had his 10 game massive home run streak and his cards just skyrocketed I am a Twins fan so here's one 2015 rookie the Chrome to 566 of Byron Buxton this card's not worth as much as it used to be you can actually get the black refractors of this for pretty cheap but you know like I said I'm a Twins fan so this is actually a PC card but pretty cool one uh, this one is the Judge 2017 Fire the gold plated nickname the animal he is an animal this was kind of one that sat in my collection for a while I kind of think it will look cool in a PSA 10 hopefully another PC card Buxton, uh, the best collection. I actually have all of them. I'm looking for the red. I still need the red, but I collect kind of some mini rainbows of my favorite Twins players, and I'm still looking for the red for that one, but we'll grade that one and see if we can't ship that off. Uh, this is the Yom Makata update from Short Print, the US 200. So, he had a kind of a bounce back year. He started off hot, you know, like most. He kind of wavered a little bit towards the end, but that's the short print, so might be one worth grading. Uh, this is 2018 Heritage High. This is Glaber, just a base. I actually got the nickname short print of this and graded it. It got a 10 and I sold it for pretty good money. Um, Akuna base. Mr. Soto base, this guy's kind of taken off. You know, I mean, his team won the World Series. They played really well. He plays really well. I I don't, I kind of, I don't know. I was cheering for him when he kind of came up, but now he's gotten a little under my skin like he has for most with this whole, like, grabbing situation. And, but he's a hell of a hitter, that's for sure. 
Uh, Marusio for the Mets. I actually pulled this out of some Bowman Retail. It's the paper version, numbered to 99 on the front here. But he's pretty good prospect for the Mets. Uh, I bought these along with everybody else. I sold most of them when they went up a little bit because, you know, I got them for three bucks a pop. But I saved one just in case one day I wanted to grade it. And they're pretty cool looking. You know, it's the live, the living series sketch cards. Pretty cool one, but not pack pulled, so not as highly collected. Update Legends in the Making Black. These can go for about 50 to 60 bucks if they grade out well. Um, I already have a PSA 10 of this, but maybe get another one. And we'll finish it off with a little Torres base from 18. So, yeah, that's some of the cards I'm sending in. Hopefully get some 10s. Uh, we can kind of, when I reveal what they get, then we can discuss a little bit of value there. Uh, have a good one. Split Rock Gamer out.